Uh, you're watching Triple A Backstage, and we're with Monty and Harvey from Client Liaison. How are you guys going? Well, thanks. Yeah, great. Yeah. And how was the show last night? It was really wild. It was a packed club in Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. um, it was incredible. Shout out to Elsewhere Bar. They've been holding it down for 13 years. 13 it's years. Impressive. Mm -hmm. And you know, if it wasn't for them, it probably wouldn't be much of a place for many people to play. Um, Okay. Um, considering all the toys and kind of software available now for electronic artists and producers, um, how come you guys are leaning more towards like a retro sound um, and definitely a retro show as well? Like what's led you down that path rather than like crazy dubstep kind of distorted sounds? Oh, well we still use all the latest technology to make that. Yeah, I mean we don't think of ourselves as retro. Yeah. And what led you towards definitely the slightly more 80s sound compared to other artists like and also your visual branding and appearance on stage. What, what led you towards that kind of music and career? I think it's a shared interest. Mm -hmm. Like we like all kinds of music, but we both really like that. I yep. think uh, music of the 80s is slowly maturing into that category where it's not a niche to, to reference that sound anymore. It's kind of mm. like, it's just there. It's, it's like rock music, it's timeless. Um, a little birdie told me, and this might be completely incorrect, um, but when you guys were starting out, the only way to contact you, or at least book you for shows, was to fax you guys? We did have a fax machine. Although, I don't think it was... Uh... Well, we only had to use the fax machine to book um, snow shows, snows in, uh, shows in the snow. Yeah, like Perisher and whatnot. Yeah, Mount Buller. So, uh, mm. I think that's a bit of a myth. Um, so. okay. A few weeks ago, you guys dropped the 2D music video for your new single, The World of Our Love, uh, which features plenty of old school Australiana references that slowly get replaced or kind of changed, like the big pineapple becomes a shipwreck, if that's accurate to yes, say. No, um, is a song a dig at modern Australia or society at the moment? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Sim simple answer, no. no. I mean, it, it references. Because we hadn't done a film clip in a while and it was animation, we, we went as wild as we could and we pretty much referenced ourselves. And, our core and, themes. Yeah, and our core themes and Australia yep. itself. So the song itself is um, more about like a psychedelic kind of opening up of the mind. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and em em embracing of community and love. So Okay, because just the way I interpret it today, listening to lyrics with the video, I was kind of like, you're comparing them then to now, or at least when you guys were younger oh, well, that's, to now. No, that's a great interpretation. Yeah. That's completely legitimate. And that's when Monty's writing lyrics, I always um, like to give him feedback of like how, how I read it when I feel like it might be different. It's really fun. I saw you guys for the first time live at Splendour last year um, and I definitely wasn't prepared for the multi-sensory experience that you guys, that's kind of like the way you explain the overall yeah. themes, um, especially with like the troop of dancers that would randomly come out out of nowhere, like that was amazing. Um, with your current World of Our Love tour, um, have you got even more happening on stage or have you gone in a completely different direction, you've gone for like minimalistic, just crazy audio-visual extravaganza. Uh, I think we still like to hit all the senses and mm. um, visually try to encompass everything. We built a giant water cooler. Like, you know, How giant it. is giant? <laughs> oh, it's like, got like two, and a, two meters, higher than two meters or something. Mm. And it's like, yeah, we cast it and designed it in like CAD and we've got like reception desk we're working on now, second phase, like putting lights in it. And yep. Just like, really it's really exciting it's like being able to just draw something and make it come to life it's like super exciting cool um so has all this come about um after splendor and then after your listen out shows as well like have you been slowly just continuing to build yeah, it's always pots? always yeah. a build like whenever we get a, a break between shows we reevaluate what we want to work on mm -hmm. like, yeah for me there's like two my two biggest inspirations in live show is Prince and Michael Jackson, yep. they deep, both have different avenues. Uh, Michael Jackson would develop the song in its entirety mm. perfectly. He'd spend weeks and weeks with dancers and costumes, like the Thriller dance, and then he'd just perform it for the rest of his career like that. Yep. While Prince would just freshen up every time. Yeah. New band, new idea, new concept, new moves. Mm. So like we like doing a bit of both of that. So if yeah. something's working, we'll just keep refining it. Yep. And then if something's like, oh, it's getting feeling a bit stale, we'll just 
turn it, flip it on itself. Yep. Uh, if you could bring back any fashion product or service from the late 80s, uh, what would you choose to live again in the present and why? Uh, probably misogyny. <laughs> no. <that's a> <laughs> uh, probably just like the sentimentality of the time, I guess, you know. That sounds really deep. What, what do you mean by that, sentimentality? Oh, like the 80s mentality or yeah, enjoying the, the moment mentality? You, know, you, look, you look at a, a commercial from mm. the 80s and it's like, or like <laughs> the Smith's chips at where there's mm. like that crazy monster like eating chips in a household and it's like, what the hell? Like now you look at that and just freak out. Yeah. But back then it was like, oh, that's cool. Like people more... more Bring back un unique and very simplistic advertising. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Okay. Cool. Um, you've been watching Triple A Backstage. We're here with Monty and Harvey from uh, Client Liaison. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Bye.